Hello, it's Wednesday, July the 6th, 2011, and I'm Martin Smith with the Daily Outlook from Maxiforex. The dollar strengthened against the other major currencies as Moody's Investor Service cut Portugal's long-term government bond ratings to junk, causing a mixed market and the dollar to become attractive as a refuge asset. Wall Street closed mixed as Nasdaq advanced by 0.35%, and the Dow weakened by 0.10%. Crude oil rose by 2.1%, the highest price in three weeks, to close at $96.89 a barrel. Gold increased by 2% to close at $1,512.70 an ounce. Today, ISM non-manufacturing PMI is expected to be 54 versus 54.60 prior. The euro fell for the first time in seven days against the dollar after Moody's decision to downgrade Portugal's bond rating, adding that banks rolling over Greek bonds may incur impairment charges. The euro dollar's momentum is bearish as long as the euro is trading below 145.20. Next support on the one-hour chart is at 143.80. Overall, the euro dollar traded with a low of 143.97 and a high of 145.42. Today, German factory orders are expected to decrease from 2.80% to minus 0.50%. The pound strengthened against the euro and fluctuated against the dollar after a report showed a measure of UK service industries exceeded economists' forecasts in June. Services PMI came out better than forecast at 53.9. As long as the pound dollar is trading above 160, the pound could rise to 161.50 or even more. Overall, the pound dollar traded with a low of 159.90 and a high of 161.27. No economic data is expected today. The yen declined versus the stronger dollar owing to Moody's announcement, which caused the yen to weaken against the other major currencies. The dollar yen still struggling at 81 to 81.20 levels. Only if the pair breaks above 81.30 will the dollar become the more attractive. Overall, the dollar yen traded with a low of 80.78 and a high of 81.18. No major data is expected today. The Canadian dollar weakened versus the greenback as Moody's announcement led to market instability and the dollar as a safety investment. As long as the pair is trading below 097, the US dollar is on the negative trend and a short position is preferred. Next support on the daily chart is at 095.80. Overall, the dollar CAD traded with a low of 095.95 and a high of 096.42. Today, building permits is expected to rise from minus 21.10% to 5%. Well, that's it from me. Be sure to visit us at maxiforex.ru.